On a previous video, I showed you how to export the data from Power BI using Power Automate and filters from Power Automate, so you export filter data. In this video, we're going to filter the data already from the filters that are available on the report. Okay, so use, we'll pick something and then we'll click export data and the filters will get applied to the export too. So let's get started. So you probably know the deal now. You go to the Power Automate button, and you put the fields that you're planning to use, make sure that you always have them on because in some cases I didn't have them on and some things did not work just because of that. So put them on. So edit. And then we're going to start from a template that we will modify. Um, so continue. And then I am going to get rid of the Excel thing for now. I will show you tomorrow how to do the Excel thing, but for now, let's leave with this. Um, and now, what we're going to do is to use this run a query from a data set, blah, blah, blah. That one. We're going to go and grab the workspace where it's store at, remember that this picks data from the service. So you need to have the Power BI report on Power BI service and then select it here. And now the query text. If you are unsure how to write this query, I have a playlist down below with all the videos and I show you there multiple times how to get the query out, right? So the export to Excel, the first one, will show you in detail. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write a very simple DAX query. You'll see it here. We will go through it again. So I have here define and evaluate order by. That's the syntax that you need to have. And then on define, I define a variable for a filter, which is the category tables we're going to. Now it's hard coded to produce. You can do that, but you don't want to do that. You want to have whatever the user clicked. So we're going to modify it. And then you have a summarized column. This produces a table with category name and sales filtered by whatever the user clicked. So how do we introduce the filter, the dynamic filter? So the easiest way to do it is get rid of that and put category name there, save. And then we're going to save and apply. So it applies to the button. Remember that, go back to the report and now we are going to run the flow. And I'm going to test it in Power Automate on the web because I think it's easier to have both. Okay, so go in there. It failed miserably because what? <laughs> A few moments later. But what is missing is just the quotation marks. There, that's all. So run. It was successful. And now you can see category beverage, and then it gave us just that, which is exactly what we want. Now, what happens if we apply two categories instead of just one? Go back, we have beverage and confections, run flow, and then go back. It's, a, it's less click, <laughs> that's why I use both, actually. So go in here, go in here, and then category beverage, and that's all. So once you click on more than one item, you know, the traditional method of filtering will not work. So we need to use something else. Let's go back to Power BI. This is what we need to do. Let me show you. We're going to go back to the flow. Again, using Power BI Desktop, otherwise it will not grab the stuff properly. So we're going to edit the flow and we're going to delete this one. Don't need it anymore. And add a new step. And here we're going to add a select data operation. We're going to grab the Power BI data there. And here we're going to click on the T. And we're going to, this is where things is going to be a little bit hairy, but it works, expression. And then this is what we're going to write. So what this does is it gets category name from the step previous step, and then it 
concatenated with comma and concatenated with double quotes. I'm going to write it down below so you can actually grab it. And uh, that's exactly what we need. So click OK. The next step is again the run a query against the data set. And then here you go again to uh, the workspace, you go to the report, and then you write the query. The query that we're going to write now is a little bit different. We're going to use treat us instead of filter, so we can pass multiple filters. Obviously, you can write this any way you like, but this is the way when you click on the performance analyzer, this is the way they pass the filter, so maybe it's more effective, who knows. So instead of categories here, what we need to do is to join the results of the previous step. So we are going to, instead of categories, go to expression and write join body select. So whatever it comes out of select, join it and return it. Okay. And then save and apply. And back to the report. And now click on more than one and run and cross your fingers. Let's go back. So let's see how we did. We have here, let me show you. So the select grabs both category names. It puts them between um, the quotation marks and then it goes in here. And do you see how it, what it does, the join thing? It just puts them together. And when we have that, then suddenly we are passing both. So, so cool. Okay. Now, the last step that we have is how to pass different fields and multiple fields. And it's actually quite easy. Go back to Power Bay Desktop. Once you get the actual syntax, things become a lot easier. So let's edit. And then we're going to add a new select in here. We're going to actually change the name of this one. So we actually know category. And then we're going to add a new select. We're going to pass country as a filter. Okay, so we're going to rename it to country. Here we are going to do the exact same thing as we did before, Power BI data. And here, instead of having item category name, we're obviously going to have item country, right? Okay. So now we need to modify the query a little bit. So we have here the category filter we're going to copy. This is going to be country filter. This is not going to be select anymore. Now it's called category, which is that one. And now this one is called country. Country update. So this is the one that, has, that one is that one. This we need to change by customers country because the country table is on the customers table for this, for the North Wind. And then close the parentheses. So be careful with the syntax. It's so easy to make mistakes. Now I'm going to add country to the summarize table so we can see the country too. And I'm going to add the country filter. You need to add both. Comma. And save. And now we're going to go back. You can actually test it with previous runs, but I prefer to do it sometimes uh, with Power BI. So I'm going to grab that and just one country. I'm going to run the flow, control click, and go back to Power Automate. And let's see the run, if it was successful or not. So here we have the category, pick both. The country pick just one because we've chosen one so far. And then we have here, ah, look at that, this is so cool. Now, what happens if we put multiple countries? Let's check. So I'm going to pick that and it's Venezuela, right? Venezuela, run flow, go back, check it out. 
and see if Venezuela is also there. Brazil, Venezuela. And as you can see, both of them. You cannot see all the results, but they are there, right? So, yeah, that's how you do it. Now, for the last video before I stop, I'm going to show you how to export these to Excel and uh, not to create a new Excel, but to a pen row. So with all the videos that I've shown you, you can now set a daily filter so you get daily fresh new data out of Power BI into an Excel file and create an increment file. So this is so, so cool. I'll see you tomorrow.